The man who went on a rampage accused by police of smashing 75 cars at an Auburn car dealership over the weekend appearing in court today. Kay McCusker was at the Lewiston District Courthouse this afternoon. She reports tonight. After an Auburn man randomly smashed several vehicles at a dealership this past weekend, his family members and the dealership owner are raising concerns for his mental health. When you have something large scale like this with, with people that need help, uh, you know, it, it, it's concerning. Uh, it's concerning. Early Saturday morning, the Auburn Police Department received a call about a suspicious situation. The caller advised dispatchers that the sooner police arrived, the less damage there would be. So in a way, we're lucky that it was mainly just glass, uh, but it's still it's it's pretty crippling uh, as far as the amount of money and the amount of product that's down temporarily for the consumer. Officers arrested 25 year old Skylar Henson after they found him swinging a weighted backpack and smashing several cars in the lot. The dealership manager says Henson caused about $100,000 in damages. There's no consumer connection. It was just a random act uh, and uh, in the middle of the night. And uh, basically, uh, I think that he, uh, I guess, has some history that he has. And uh, unfortunately, um, he came to Roe Auburn. Today, Henson pled not guilty to criminal mischief at the Lewiston District Courthouse. His attorney and family members noted Henson's struggles with mental health issues, and the judge ordered a competency evaluation. The family is aware of the mental health challenges that Mr. Henson has been experiencing. The Auburn Police Department declined to speak with us, but the deputy chief tells me mental health calls are a concern for the department as they continue to deal with numerous calls per week. In Lewiston, I'm Kate McCusker for Maine's Total Coverage.